jerk bait Chuck Noble made for me on the 3D printer over Christmas. So I've got some eyelets in, which I'll show you shortly, and uh, see what I can do with that. Stay tuned. All right, this was about eight to nine bucks, I think. I got the little uh, screw eyes here. They come in different assortments. I'm gonna use the heavy ones. And then you get this little package of eyeballs, stick-ons, and a pair of tweezers comes with it to take them in and out of that hole. But based on the size of that jerk bait, I pulled this one out. I think I'm gonna use the bigger eyes. Probably go with the red, I'm guessing. So stay tuned. All right, I peeled one of these eyes off. I stuck it in this hole right here. You can see, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. And then in the back, I screwed that little silver eyelet in there. So I'm gonna get the other side, probably put one more hook on the belly and uh, see how that works. I'll probably have to sand it down or something once I see it runs, but hoping to catch a lick of arc bass on it. Getting a little hole started there. I didn't like how far that was sitting back, so. I'm trying to feel that hole that came with the mode. It may make it tougher, so. Let's see if I can get this in there. Put a touch of uh, crazy glue around it, and if I catch a five pounder, that may not hold, we'll see. Think positive, think positive. All right, so. Second island for the uh, the D-rings and the uh, treble hooks. And I gotta put an eyelet on this side, so hang on. Okay, I think it's this size. There you go, looks like it's seated. Red eyes, now I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna paint it. Next, stay tuned. All right, I got the old jerk bait box out. This is a, a larger jerk bait, of course, sort of like a big swim bait, but uh, that's what the mode made. So here we are so far, I'm trying to match uh, something here. This is a popular color on Lake O, Table Rock special. Uh, maybe able to paint it that color. It'll just take some chartreuse and maybe some purple back. Maybe a good choice. Uh, there's one. That's a nice one. I may paint it that color. Just stripe it down there. We'll see. I'm going to get on it and pick a color. Alrighty. That's my paint job. See, that works. Nick stops trebles. You don't want to paint it while it's got hooks on it stuck in your hand. I took a uh, chartreuse dike, uh, spike it, it's got garlic on it, and then I took a fire red marker. You can get them in a pack of four. They come in purple, which I don't have, red and uh, chartreuse and orange. So next up, treble hook. All right, I dug out the split ring box. That's what I do when I have to fix a blade on a spinnerbait or something, but uh, they come in different sizes. I picked a couple here to go on that middle hook, and then I've got some trebles. But what I thought is, I've got my uh, box here. We used to throw these at the Toledo Bend on the back of a Pop R, but I don't think about putting that on the back of that. I wonder how that affect the jerk bait. Hey, this is trial and error. I think it's gonna look good. Stay tuned. Try to put the hook on before the ring closes. And just turn it all at once. That's the plan anyway. All right, look at that.
Got to get that thing weighted down with some weights uh, when I run it through the water, and we'll see how it goes. I think it looks pretty good so far. <laughs> I'm going to have to paint it up again. Stay tuned.